Good morning, people. Hey, y'all. That's not a good no. intro. We have celebrated a recent milestone two days ago, and it was our third year wedding anniversary. And just like wedding anniversaries pass, we barely saw each other. <laughs> and this it's time, the norm. yeah, um, this time I worked in the morning and then Mike worked at night and we got to see each other half an hour in between, but actually Mike was able to get out a little bit early. So we enjoyed uh, cans of sparkling rosé by the fire we made that wasn't very lit. It was still a fire. Yeah, it was still a fire. Anyway, also in true celebration. Also in true celebration fashion, we are celebrating in the little pockets of time that we do have. So today, uh, Mike has the morning off and I have the day off, so I think that it's a good time to vlog. Absolutely. It is kind of a dreary morning in Charleston. Rained a lot last night, it's supposed to be cloudy all day. But we are headed to a brunch place uh, on Folly Beach. So we're excited to try out that and I think have our first brunch ever in Charleston together. Yeah. It's basically gonna be breakfast for me. Me too. How was breakfast? It was delicious. Yeah, it was pretty good. We opted for the buffet option, which was about thirty to forty dollars cheaper than it would have been if we got the same exact thing in Hawaii. Yep. So we're really happy, and it's pretty close to home. All of this. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. We're reappreciating where we live. Yeah. Again. Now we're just walking the pier on Folly Beach. Then I'm going to do some exploring. We're going to explore Joint Base Charleston. Not the Naval no, Weapon Station where Mike works. I've never been on this base. I have a little bit, but not... It probably changed a lot, too. Yeah. So, we have no um, expectations or anything. We're just driving around, which is actually something we love to do. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of event going on. On Friday morning. The Air Force spends all of its money on people and the Navy spends all of its money on ships. And then asks for money for people. <laughs> Regretting much? Yeah. They're fucking barracks and they're gorgeous. They are. They're like, they look like luxury apartments almost. The barracks on Pearl Harbor are the same barracks that were there in World War II. They, they look like, um... There's still bullet holes in the cement blocks. <laughs> Regret level 10. <laughs> we are where we are because we're there. Yep. But we still get to enjoy all of this. Yeah. 
Well, they have a golf course. Cool. We seem to have hit a traffic light. This base just looks like a regular old neighborhood. Yep. Not a military base. Yeah, the I mean, Air Force would be the way to go. Yeah. If you're joining the military. Pro tip, Mike Skinner. Found <laughs> the exchange. Ah. You wanna go on the exchange? Yeah, let's check it out. Okay. This exchange is it awesome. Yeah. Way more awesome than the one on by us. Yeah, it is. But not more awesome than Hawaii. Yeah. That will always be number one, I think. Yep. It will be. That was they had they had pretty great facilities there. Yeah. But that's because it was an Air Force base too. <laughs> Regret level back to ten. <laughs> this is a smoker. Right? And grill? No, it's a, oh, it's just a grill. It's a gas grill, charcoal grill, and a fryer. And this. Does it have to be a fryer, though? I mean... No. It could just be a regular burner? Yeah, it is a regular burner. Oh. So you could, you could just put a pot on there. Yeah. I like it. Me too. So Mike bought one of these um, handles for his tumbler that I got him. So now he can carry it around work. Yes, more it's easy. So much easier. And I actually want to get one of those rather than this because this is obviously condensating. It doesn't um, hold anything cold. Mike also got really nice flip flops from Reef. But that's enough for this. We've been home for a couple of hours now. And we ended up taking a nap, and probably because we had a huge breakfast, and it kind of knocked us out after a while of not doing that. Um, let's see here. Mr. Mike is getting ready for work. Ah, oh, shit, hold on. Okay, crisis averted, except we need bread. I'm gonna go to Aldi, Aldi, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. So if any of you know how, tell me below using phonetics. We had one when I was growing up in New Jersey and I didn't go there too often, but I hear that it made a crazy comeback, has a lot of organic options. I've seen people post about um, the deals that they get on like grass-fed beef and organic produce. So there is one about six miles away from here. So I'm gonna try and go there and see what I can get from my list. I'm also a grocery store junkie, so things like that excite me to go to places and see what different kinds of foods they have. Um, and also, it would be a good idea for us to save a little bit of money on groceries lately because we do need to purchase a truck soon to haul the boat and for all of the other projects we have going on. What? There's not enough of me in this vlog. Oh, well, that's your fault. You don't decide to start them and finish them. You're like, hey guys, it's me. I'm amazing. I'm doing this thing. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm really excited about our floors and the possibility of getting the remainder of the furniture that we need for this to be a house. <laughs> yeah, like a dining room table and a bed platform. <laughs> like these crucial things. <laughs> We're like college kids right now. We're like advanced college kids. Yeah. We're like adult college kids that are smart about their money. By not spending it. No, we spend, but we save too. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Because you're pretty. All right, guys, I'm back from Aldi, Aldi, whatever. And I spent about $94 and I got a good chunk of food. A lot of produce. Um, 
I wouldn't say that it's good for anyone who tries to eat super clean because you can't get everything there, especially if you're, um, if you really care about the way that your meat is raised and you're willing to spend the extra money on it like we are. They have an entire line uh, called Live G Free and it looks like I went a little bit crazy here, but honestly, there was nothing that was over three and a half dollars in this pile right now. And that's just amazing and it just shows how far uh, things go when it comes to the way people are spending their money on food. So I did get some uh, grain and seed, gluten-free grain bread um, for just a, a, the occasions when we have it. I mean, there are so many times where Mike eats like sandwiches and stuff and I just have things without the bread and sometimes I want it. So I bought these uh, hamburger buns for myself and this bread to have on occasions. I'm gonna keep them in the freezer and when I want some, I'll just take it out of the freezer. I got some gluten-free pretzel sticks which I have already started eating on the way home. Some granola because I have been eating coconut yogurt, full fat dairy yogurt just runs right through me, TMI. Uh, but coconut yogurt has, seems to be really good and I've been enjoying it with some granola. So the fact that I can find this for a little bit cheaper than the $7 granola that I bought the other day at Whole Foods is good in my book. Also, me and Mike like to eat mac and cheese sometimes, and I think it's a fairly reasonable side, and whenever I see that uh, I can get a gluten-free version, I always do get it, and these were, I think, like $1.19, so I got two of those. And then sometimes we'll have pasta dishes. So, I mean, these are gonna be used up all over time, which is why I'm comfortable buying these things that have not so great ingredients in them, for instance, the gluten-free brownies. I just love having boxed brownies around um, in case the craving hits and it's rare that I make them not gluten-free and these were $1.99 each, so hopefully they're good. I also purchased this coconut water. I think it was like $2, but the ingredients are just 100% coconut juice. For the rest of this stuff, Mike likes these cans of food for five-year-old children um, to have for lunches sometimes. Bought some marinara sauce, I bought some burger buns for him because he tends to make sandwiches a lot. Got some breakfast sausage that I'm gonna make my breakfast bowls with, some pizza for him. Got some naan and hummus for him. Um, I got a skirt steak because I've been craving it. I wanna make it in the cast iron skillet. Also picked up some spinach and feta chicken sausage which looked really good, really good to have these on hand and then produce so I got a giant bag of organic kale some corn onions bell peppers which these were under two dollars for three which is pretty amazing bag of russet potatoes bag of golden potatoes a bag of zucchini for a dollar ninety nine and this broccoli also under two dollars not only that but I got two pineapples because tis the season for fruit. I freaking love just cutting up giant amounts of fruit and then eating it, especially like with salt on it. It's weird. For the rest of the night, or the rest of the day, it's about almost five o'clock right now. Well, Mike's not gonna be getting home till like midnight, so I probably won't see him. I'll be <clears throat> fast asleep. I'm going to put all this away and do a little bit of meal prepping for the next couple of days because I've been lacking on that and um, yeah, just some house maintenance, folding laundry. I'll eat dinner uh, and then hopefully I'll get to work on some of my, um, my business page or tasks that are getting out of control. All right guys, I just got finished meal prepping tomorrow night and Sunday night's dinner for Mike tomorrow night and Sunday night's dinner for me and then breakfast for both of us tomorrow and then breakfast for me on Sunday as well and I'm really proud to have a good amount of vegetables in the fridge so I gotta make sure you use them up I also soft boiled some eggs for uh, snacks and stuff so that is gonna end this video. It was a pretty full day for us, and we've been having a lot of full days. Um, 
even if we don't see each other, we've been doing stuff outside of the house too and it's been great and I've been really pretty happy lately with uh, the way things are going and where things are headed so yeah happy Miko's happy too right Miko Miko you happy oh he is happy anyway if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we're going to see you in the next one